Okay, so how did nation star fool the court? And this judicial jujitsu, I'll talk about this in another uh, another video, but basically they just lied to her face. They told her, they told her just, oh, she had never admitted me as a, as a party. And they served notice on me and all parties into the case not to come to the hearing about uh, that motion for summary judgment because it was continued. And yet, Jimmy Jack's attorney and Nation Star's attorney, after telling through the court system, do not appear. It is uh, moved from uh, April 23rd hearing to May 7th. Don't come. They had the hearing anyway and took uh, and got all my, all my documents stricken from the record based on lying to the judge. And then in this, when they cut down their, uh, you know, when they withdraw their motion, they also ask the court to vacate the hearing, which they had anyway. So the court, how did the court not see these inconsistencies? I mean, admittedly, there's like a bazillion documents and, and the courts do not look at that stuff in the level of detail because they rely on the attorneys as officers of the court with a duty of candor to the court. They rely on their oral presentation. And they do not expect in a million years that there would be so much fraud just lying right to their face. If they did, they certainly, she certainly wouldn't have excluded all the evidence from trial after having 42 hearings without looking at the evidence. But people see what they expect to see.